Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, okay. Oh, I slept pretty darn good. I slept pretty darn good. Let me show you something right now. I tell you that I, you know, been trying to sleep with this, uh, kind of like a, uh, well, I just call it my helmet for now. And, um, it is basically made of the Kapton, um, tape, basically made of the Kapton tape and aluminum tape, right? Now... Before, I would realize it would just, um, it wouldn't necessarily work in the, in the way that I would want it to, to, want it to, like, um, the Kapton tape would help at least, um, decrease some of the heat that travels with the, um, the light energy that passes through, um, the aluminum, but then at some point, it it's like they change the amplification of the they change the power they change the power or the amplification of the frequency and then all of a sudden i start to feel it build up again on you know inside the skull so then i, I don't know i was just sitting i was sitting somewhere i think i was like sitting in my room just thinking what could i do what could i do and then i thought about well they're basically channeling energy through this light frequency and they can change the the power behind it they can change the power that's carrying with it so i said well what did i used to do when i wanted to um like let's say if i if i had felt like there was a lot of, a lot of charge in my body I said, well, I used to have a ground, like create a grounding pad. You know, I would get like some aluminum. I would get like some type of metal pan or aluminum pan, put on top of that copper sheet, and then um, attach a grounding wire, which would be like, you see this? Well, yeah, you see that alligator? This alligator clip right here, copper wire, and then I would basically attach something else that's metal to the other end with another, you know, alligator clip. I, you know, and then I would stand on it. And then as I stand on it, I would feel, you know, all the charge that they're, you know, building up inside my body kind of leave through my feet, you know. First, you would feel a slight vibration in your feet. Then all of a sudden, you would feel like something in your body just go, like, like you just powered down, you know, and you would just feel release after that. So then I, I was sitting there thinking, I was like, well, what if I, what if I attach a grounding wire to the helmet? What, what would that do? So after, as soon as I was, you know, because all day all day yesterday and the day before that and possibly the day before that i was just feeling like they've been like trying to murder my brain like literally trying to murder my brain and every time i move i felt like i was uh, uh you know it literally felt like someone put a cell phone inside of my brain and <laughs> closed the skull back up and then left it on vibrate and then they just kept calling it and then it just kept vibrating inside of my brain. Um, well, once I attached the clip to it, once I attached the clip to it, that sensation decreased significantly. It decreased significantly, right? So I was just like, oh, and I've been I've been doing this for like the last I would say like uh, I want to say ten hours now, and um, I felt so much relief. There was so much relief. Um, then, funny thing is, they put me in another dream manipulation this morning. 
But for whatever reason, this one actually ended up being somewhat kind of pleasant. So it's almost as if like they pick and choose when they want to do certain things to you, right? So in this one, for whatever reason, I it was almost like I felt like I kind of like like I saw the image or the environment kind of like almost like like I down like I was downloaded into an environment. And then I remember looking at my hands and then I was sitting in a car, but it was like, like I could tell by the leather, like the leather, you know, texture of the car. And, and then I could tell by the interior of the car, I was like, this is like a nice car. So I look up and I'm in like a sports car and I'm like, oh, snap. And then next thing you know, I look, over, I'm in the passenger side. But I look over, there's no one driving. There's no one in the driver's in the driver's seat. So I'm like, oh, snap. And then the car just starts moving and driving on its own. I'm like, oh, snap. And then for whatever reason, I took my phone out. And I was like, look, y'all, I'm in a, I'm in a, a self-driving sports car or whatever. And <laughs> it was so stupid. And... At whatever point, as I was like, you know, um, I was like, uh, what was I doing? As I was like, you know, um, I guess recording myself, I saw this image. It was like a reflection in my phone. And it was a woman twerking in the phone. And I was like, the hell? I looked behind me. There was no one there, there was no one twerking there, but I look on the phone and I'm like, there's somebody twerking there. And then I look behind me, all of a sudden the car stops. Well, the car has stopped already. And, you know, I was recording myself. Then I was looking in the phone. I thought I was like, you know, um self like selfie recording myself. But then as I was looking at the phone, it was like someone it was like I guess what like when I was like trying to like record myself i thought i had the camera facing me but then i'm seeing like someone you know um someone like some woman twerking right and then i look behind me and ain't nobody twerking behind me and then i put the phone down there was a woman twerking uh on the outside on the sidewalk um mind you the environment the the, the place i was in it seemed like hollywood california for whatever reason and the strangest thing, I looked behind the car and there was Merlin Manson. <laughs> Merlin Manson was strapping himself to the front of a mat of like a huge truck. Like it had like, like it had straps on it, like a harness. And he was strapping himself to the front of a truck. And I was like, what the hell? And what else? Yeah, there was the, the woman twerking out of strange. Merlin Manson was, you know, uh, strapping himself to, to the grill of a truck. And all I could hear in my head was his song, The Beautiful People, The Beautiful People. Yeah, and I'm like, what is going on? And... But I don't kind of, I really don't remember what else I seen. And then I just woke up, right? Now, mind you, this thing is not, it's not going over my entire head. My hair is basic. My hair is, is really messing up my, uh, my shielding capabilities. I think I really might just go ahead and cut my hair off. Um, it's messing up my shielding capabilities. But, um, yeah, as I woke up and I started to analyze the dream a bit more, I started to feel like burning in the back of my head. That was when I realized this, it wasn't covering back where the visual cortex and the cerebellum is at. So I had to shift it back just a little bit more. And as soon as I started shifting it back to where I was feeling the burning at, that's when I started to feel it decrease. So it's not burning as much right now, 
like it's not burning as much right now right now there's there's some relief because it's covering the back of my head but now at this point this part is exposed so um now i'm thinking to myself um i need to make something that'll cover the entire head and then clip a grounding wire to it but what i want to do is i want to like this is this is pretty short this is only going like but so it's only but so long so what I want to do is I'm going to make a grounding wire that can probably go all the way down to like, I don't know, maybe my my belt, like to like my waist or something. And then I'm going to get like a key, like a, um you know, like a key, like a key clip. And I could hook it to one of the, the one of the, 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 the rings, one of the hooks, um belt loops. Yeah, hook it to one of the belt loops. So then um, the grounding wire would like attach to the helmet and then I, could, I guess it'll travel down the outside of like my shirt or something like that. Well, maybe the inside of my shirt. Um, but I wanna get, I wanna get like um, insulated copper wire. So that way it's like my skin isn't constantly in contact with the, the wires or it's not touching and then I'll clip the other end of the alligator clamps to um the key clip that's like on the belt loop so yeah um i'm not saying it got rid of my v2k um they definitely was there when i woke up um yeah they definitely was there when i woke up and the funny thing is i didn't sleep with i had fell asleep um while watching tv I fell asleep while watching TV and um and the TV was on um and I didn't even have like my headphones in listening to frequencies or nothing like that. But when I woke up it was like five thirty this morning. Um mind you I fell asleep around let me see what time it had to be. I fell asleep somewhere around maybe ten 30-ish because I was talking to my girl last night and she was upset with me because I you know I guess between trying to clean up the house I'm um, trying to get ready for this Christmas dinner this family Christmas dinner and you know um I did a lot of laundry today and and with them constantly always beaming on my head sometimes Sometimes I don't have much energy for anything else but to just f sit there and, and like, I guess, meditate on what I could do to try to alleviate what is happening. So um, there come times where, like, I'm not thinking about nobody else but what I'm trying to do to um, help myself and others going through what we're going through with this technology sometimes everything else just fall to the wayside and all i want to do is pretty much act like i'm watching tv because when i'm watching tv it's like i turn my brain off right i turn my brain off so i can rest and relax and not necessarily think about anyone else nobody else no no one else's energy i am trying to recalibrate myself Right, even though they're constantly beaming thing, beaming energy on me, and they're, they're raining, it's like it's like the less I think about everything else, and I just focus on them, and then somewhat kind of turning my brain off when I'm watching something. That's when I usually get a lot more. It's like eureka moments. It's like it just some things just come to me, almost like an idea just popped into my head, and then that's when I'm like, hmm, let me try this, you know. So, um, and then they're always talking about, he about to go to prison, he about to go to prison. I'm already aware that there are laws being created to try to basically imprison people. Um, and like for the, for the videos, like I make, you know, I don't make hate. I don't do hate speech videos or anything like that. I don't, I don't induce violence. So whatever they're trying to say, oh, he's going to go to prison. He's about to go to prison. 
I already know they're breaking, they're finding more and more ways to destroy the constitutional rights, the Bill of Rights. They're trying to destroy all these things. They're trying to make ways so that they can basically um, strip away people's human rights. And then, you know, if you don't agree, they're going to just consider you like a, a, a threat to national security and then try to lock you up. I'm already aware of that, you know, and these are the people who are basically committing genocides all across the country, all across the world. New York City, forget about it. It's 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 human trafficking like Palooza out here. You know, it's it's digital human trafficking Palooza. It's it's like physical human trafficking Palooza. So many people getting paid off of this system. They're like, we're a secret society. I don't give a fuck what you are part of the moment you start coming against people's peace especially if they're not like it's one thing if you if you are it's one thing like it's one thing if you are basically asking to be a part of a certain lifestyle and then that's just the type of energy that you're bound to come across because you chose to be in that lifestyle it's like if you choose to gamble and ask for loans from a loan shark and things don't go right. You know, you knew what you was getting yourself into, but this is completely different. This is what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to help people who weren't given a choice. They weren't given a choice. They weren't, you know, they didn't ask to be a part of this. They didn't ask to be augmented. They didn't ask for this technology to be put into this their body. They didn't ask for none of this. I am doing this, and I'm getting chills when I say this. I'm doing this for the people who did not consent to any of this at all. And then some people who didn't consent to this, but I guess for whatever reason, because they felt like, well, if I want to, if I want to, you know, get along, I got to, you know, if, if I want to, you know, not experience torment or not experience pain or whatever, I got to get along, right? And then some of them, they probably got used to it. And they was like, well, it's not that bad. No, you still consented to it. You knew that it was wrong, but you consented to it anyway. So I'm just thinking to myself, you you do realize that when it's all blow up, when it's all blow up and all of this gets exposed, you are going down as an accomplice. You Even if you might actually be a good person, you're going down as an accomplice. And if the law, if the law, if people who are like, like enforcing laws and creating laws against this don't get you, trust and believe your spiritual being is already full of what they call scales in the Bible. You have so many scales on your spiritual body. You have no idea that when God and I'm not talking about, and I'm glad I watched that video earlier. They say Satan is the prince of the power of the air, meaning Satan is the ruler of earth, right? Everything that we see about material wealth, power, and and and, and greed and all that, all that, all of that stuff, that's all Satan's, you know, that's all what Satan, you know, gives to man, right? God allows Satan to rule over this world because Satan is basically testing the wills and the spirits of every single human being on this planet. And what's about to happen soon, and there and it's already happening within the universe, there is a energy shift taking place. There's an energy shift taking place. And I know y'all heard me mention this before. There is an energy shift taking place. And what's about to happen, millions, if not billions of people are going to miss the call. God is allowing Satan to test every single person. And if you have the right energy or the right frequency about you, God has chosen you specifically to live a certain path, right? And if you're being targeted and you're getting you're getting the most extreme amounts of stuff happen to you, 
that is because you have a specific connection to God. God allows us to go through the storm because he's waiting. To, he's trying to make sure we are basically, um, what's the words? We are being tested to see if we're worthy of the blessings that are going to come. Satan may be the ruler of this world, right? God still rules over Satan. This is this is there's a reason why in the book of Job, God said and God told Satan that you can test Job, you can do all that you want to Job, but do not kill him. God has to give Satan permission to kill certain people. And when you have a certain energy about you or a certain level of peace or a certain strength about you and you're not and you're not someone who's like cursing God and you know you're still maintaining your 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 connection and I'm getting chills as I say this so I know I'm telling the truth. If you, if there's something about you that is still able to go through this storm and you are doing everything in your power to still maintain yourself and you're still providing love, care, honesty, humbleness to this world and you are still the, a great example to other people of what it looks like to weather the storm and still come out with a smile on your face. There is a blessing coming for you and don't you think otherwise. Don't you think otherwise. Hold on because help is coming. Just hold on. Now, they get mad right now. So they trying to see if they can this. I, it's my hair. My hair is in the way because um, when I press down on it, Whatever they were doing, it kind of like it gets absorbed into this and then it transfers out that way. So, yeah, I'm going to try the other one, too. Um, there's another grounding thing that you can do where you basically attach it to like anywhere on your skin. And it can help ground energy outwards, too. Um, but, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I'm working on some things. Um, just stay, stay, you know, stay tuned in. Um, yeah, they're finding like little gaps to get into. And then, you know what? Uh, I was in the shower, I think it was yesterday or the day before. Yeah, yesterday morning. And I just want, I start taking my fingers and like, I know the exact spots where I mostly feel the majority of free, uh, energy frequencies going into, you know, going through the skull. So I started pressing along my skull and there are divots, like actual divots, like soft spots in my skull where they probably been beaming so much energy into those spots that now there's it's I, I wouldn't say it's a hole or maybe it is a hole but it is a divot there's at least three or four um specific areas on the skull um where i feel these soft spots or these divots um yeah right now i'm not necessarily feeling pain or yeah my brain still feels like they're I mean it's still it's not a hundred percent fail proof but um I mean but you can if you could see my hair then then that means you could you know they basically have spaces where they can get into but uh yeah I'll keep y'all posted but Grounding. Grounding is key. Grounding is key. On that note, take life one breath, one thought, one step, one day at a time. Peace.